I suppose what we're talking about is societal mm -hmm. prescriptions and public policy prescriptions. Yes. So you would say, like, for example, the law that's being proposed in California mm -hmm. that allows sexual reassignment surgery, no parental consent, taxpayer funded, big mistake. Big mistake. Big mistake. Not, not, uh, and it's not the money, okay? Again, it's not the money for me. It's more the fact that they're not listening to people like myself who are older, more grounded, understand what's happening. Even, even there are actual trans doctors who are disagreeing with this. But our voices are so low in, in this space that we don't get heard because then I think, well, what is everybody getting out of this? Why do they want so many people to well, transition? So, you know, you know, the answer is the pharmaceutical companies make a ton of money on this. Of course, is that, it always comes back to the money. Pfizer and pharmaceutical companies make a ton of money on hormone. Blockers. You know, I read in Market Watch, which is what a, a, yeah. a website for 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 stock, right? It actually says in there, invest in trans surgery. It's going to be a five That's billion. Right. Unbelievable to me. I'm like, oh, hold up, people. Wait a minute here. I am not a commodity, and I am not that that space. That is disgust. We are literally zero zero point five percent of the population.